hello and welcome to another video um today the topic is systems of linear inequalities in two variables um let's start solving this if x plus a y is less than v plus one and zero to satisfy the inequality so whenever uh, a value satisfies the inequality what you do is you plug it back in and say that zero plus a times two is less than b plus one so 2b is less than 2a is less than b plus 1. Uh, what is the relationship between the constants a and b? So 2a is less than b plus 1. Okay, so all of these are 2b. So let's see what I can do with 2b. If I multiply with 2 on this side, I should multiply with 2 on the other side as well. And say that 4a minus 2 is less than 2b. Okay. So 4a minus 2 is less than 2b or 2b is greater than 4a minus 2. What is the inequality formed when 3 is multiplied um, to the inequality this? So I want to multiply everything by 3. That's interesting. So 3x over 12 plus 12y over 3 is less than 3 over 12. So x over 4 plus 4y is less than 1 over 4. Can I take a 4 common again? Um, x plus 16y is less than 1 over 4. This should cancel out because they're both positive numbers. I don't have an issue canceling out. So b is the right answer. Is the point 2 comma 1 a solution to the inequality 2x plus 3y is less than or equals to 4. You can only know this by plugging it in. 2 times 2 plus 3 times 1 is less than or equals to 4. 4 plus 7. 7 is less than or equals to 4. That doesn't sound right. Therefore, no. This point didn't serve as a solution set. If the inequality 3x plus 6y is greater than 3, then what is the interval notation for x plus 2y? So x plus 2y is just 3 factored out of 6 plus 3x plus 6y. So x plus 2y is greater than 3 over 3. So it's just greater than 3 over 3. There's no upper limit on it. So I can say that it goes to infinity. So it's from 1 to infinity. Remember that when these are written as in brackets, they're not x and y. They are basically notations for the entire interval. They're basically um, sort of numbers on the number line. So there's one and then there's infinity. It's going towards infinity. Um, so these do not represent coordinates. You should remember that. So these represent intervals. Which of the following inequalities is equivalent to inequality 6x minus 4y? So again, I see 2 factored out. Three x minus 2y is greater than 4. Let's go to some more easy questions. If 10x minus 5y plus 1 is greater than or equals to 11, then what is the inequality 2x minus y? So 10x minus 5y is greater than or equals to 11 minus 1. 10x minus 5y is greater than or equals to 10. Let's factor out 5. 2x minus y is greater than or equals to 10 over 5. 5 times 2, 2x minus y is greater than or equals to 2, yes. What is the inequality satisfied by this? So remember that whenever you remove a modulus, you have two situations, one is with the plus, and remember that when you put a negative, this sign has to flip. So x plus 2y is greater than or equals to 3. Do I see that in an answer option? I see d and it's x plus 2y is less than or equals to minus 3. So that's the correct answer there. Find the simplest form of the inequality represented by this. 
So 3x plus 6y is less than or equals to 12 divided by 2. I can factor out another 3 and say that this is x plus 2y is less than or equals to 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So x plus 2y is less than or equals to 2. Determine whether this is a solution. So again, I'm going to plug in and check. 5 is greater than 1. So yes. If 2 more than uh, the sum of 2 times m, 2 more than sum of 2 times m and 3 times m, is less than 2 which one of the following represents the linear form of the inequality so 2m plus 3n should be less than 0 i think that's it for the easy questions i'll be back with some medium questions on this thank you for watching